Are you in the same boat I am and thinking about spring? I've got some upgrades in mind with the van and I want to show you what I'm doing. So in this episode, I'm going to take you through some of the 2024 spring upgrades for miles. Come follow along. All right, so I'm just brainstorming and thinking about what I'm going to do here and what I'm going to do here because I do not like the situation I have going on now. On this side, I could get a shelving unit. I just don't want to block any of my electrical down in here. So at this point, I'm just brainstorming and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Hmm. Retire it or keep it. Oh, I connected them. Nice. Huh. <laughs> Connect the dots. I am on my way to Lowe's to sit in the parking lot and do some editing, but I also want to take some measurements, take off this one dowel rod little organizer setup I have and get measurements for a potential new part in the van. Miles needs a couple new things in here, a couple new upgrades. So right now I'm just kind of prepared for that. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just taking this down right now, the Ikea thing. I am no professional by any means. <laughs> You'll see soon. So we are putting up the dowel rod that was over here, right next to this one. That way I can get more use out of all this space. That's good there. Next. Boom. Other bracket. Now, get this one up. Bam. Man, how do carpenters do this all the time? There it is. All right. I'm stoked with how it turned out. Now they're right next to each other. They fit perfect. I still have access to both of these. Just utilizing the space a lot more. Again, I have better ideas for the opposite side as well, but these just didn't fit enough stuff in there for me. So I'd rather double up and utilize them right here, take out one or two and get more use out of the space back through here. Ooh, yeah. So I just got back from Lowe's. I just took out the PVC board. I need 37 inches by about eight inches wide. The only way that came was 96 inches. So they're like 45 bucks, but hey, it gets me what I needed and it'll be worth it in the end. So we shall see. Now I'm just going to relocate the carbon monoxide detector and get that out of the way. <clears throat> New location. Check. Check. We're good. Carbon monoxide detector is now located right next to my diesel heater controller. Perfect. Much better. I've cleaned all this out, got the carbon monoxide detector out of here, got the, all my cosmetics and my hygiene stuff out of there. Just relocating everything right now 
and kind of setting it up a lot better than what I had before. I just didn't like it. Again, I've been in here for a while. I know what I want now a little better than I did before. Probably change it 10 more times later on too. But for now, um, at this stage, I'm building like a shelf or a cupboard or a cabinet up here. I'm just building the shelf for right now and figuring out a door later. But I can't wait. It's going to help a lot. So that's what we're doing. I'm taking measurements. I just went and bought a board. Okay, we just cut the board down to size. Now we're getting the legs together. Now we figured out the angle and cut the angle. And now we have our support rail so nothing's hitting the window. Probably here. Uh, okay, move down a little. Oh, right there is where we're going. There. Yeah, move. I went to Dollar Tree and picked up some containers so I can try to match that up up there. I did take some measurements of the inside of this so I kind of knew what I was looking for and I wasn't going into the store blind. <laughs> but you never know, so we'll see. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. I ended up going to the store and getting some of this, some containers for it. Now I'm just stocking. can't lie I'm really excited with how this turned out so let's check it out well first off let's check out back here back here you know over in this side I've got the double bags now these are both with lightweight things in them so if they do slam against the window they're not going to break it this is my travel towel so I might as well have that on the outside instead of the inside smashing against the window then I have my cosmetics here and here. Then over on this side, bam, there's the all new shelf. So with this before, I just had hanging stuff with my cosmetics in it and some cleaning items. Now I've got the shelving unit. Over here I've got dry items. So I've got like some restock of napkins and toilet paper and tissue. Down here I have some projects and almost like a junk drawer, but it's still stuff that I need or stuff that I have planned for the near future, so. And over here, this is what I really need, was just kind of some stock food. Places to put extra food beyond just my sink. Now I was actually able to clean out my sink, uh, just about. I only have one box in there right now, but it's very easy to clean out at this point. So I can actually utilize the sink now that spring's coming and I'll be using it a lot more. All right, now what this is, is a piece of PVC board over here. That is the 96 by seven and a quarter board. So it's basically like a one by eight. It was an eight foot long board. I cut it into a section. This is 36 inches long right here. Then we figured out the angle over here and made the legs for them. Attached it. It's actually really, really sturdy. 
Then what I did was I just took some measurements and went into Dollar Tree and picked up some containers. And I actually had this mesh netting. I was trying to figure out a door for it. And I might change it, who knows. But this actually is perfect. So not everything is showable. It still looks nice and clean. I can utilize all the space. And I can still access all of my electronics right here. I have the calendar up. Just, I'm so stoked about it. Again, utilizing the space so much better. And it actually wasn't hard to do and wasn't too expensive. Hey, what's up? I'm glad you stuck around. If you like these kind of videos, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and keep on coming back for my weekly uploads. I have a bunch of camper comparisons, camper walkthroughs, van ventures, and my van life. And I greatly appreciate you all coming through. Thanks for watching. Right now, I've just been using a two liter or a gallon jug and pretty much pouring it. So I'm not freezing it and having to deal with that. So I'm using like one gallon at a time. All right, now I'm just rambling.